Hi, Lexi Daly here for Paper Tray Ink Stamp Affair. Welcome to the awesome 80s and your final time traveling destination today. And here's my first challenge, Retro Rainbows. Um, rainbows have never really gone out of style, at least for me, but they definitely had a strong place in the 80s, a special place in the 80s. Um, as you can see, they were on stickers, candy, and toys, but really they weren't just for kids. They were on housewares postage stamps, clothing, logos, you name it, you could probably find a rainbow in it. <laughs> so let's push these things out of the way. Um, these rainbows are really what inspired my 1980s kit. Um, you have a rainbow that you can die cut. You've got sticker shapes to punch out. Um, a couple of different patterns cassette tapes, and then a whole rainbow page. Now this rainbow paper was inspired by a very specific product from the 80s, the Trapper Keeper. This time of year especially it brings back memories. The Trapper Keeper was a very cool way to hold your papers, your folders. It was new, it was different, it closed with Velcro, kept everything in tight, and they were just interesting to look at. Um, they came in lots of bright colors. They had images on them that were similar to posters that you might have on your wall. And they just made school a little bit more fun. So because that paper was inspired by the Trapper Keeper, I had the idea to create a Trapper Keeper style birthday card. So I'm going to show you that and then we'll talk a little bit more about the challenge. Um, to make the Trapper Keeper card, you need a card base that's five and a half by nine and three quarters. And you'll score it in two places to get that little flap to hold it all shut. So let's do that right now. My first score is going to be at four and a quarter, but I'm going to go slightly under four and a quarter to make it easier for the flap to close and lie flat. So there's my first score. My second score will be at exactly four and a quarter. And then we will round the corners on the flap. So there you have it, your basic card. We can go ahead and get those creases folded. And there you have it. In addition to that, I have punched a library pocket folder because I'm going to add a little pocket for a gift card. I have slightly trimmed the this lined paper from the pack to put on the inside. And I slightly trimmed it just to make it have a better fit to close. And I've prepared my cover image. You the image itself is three and a half by four and three quarters layered on a white layer that is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. I also stamped one of the little images on it like you'd written on your binder, um, too good to be forgotten. It's a happy birthday card. You might not want to be late with this one since it says not forgotten. So I'm going to put those aside and I'm going to get my pieces all ready, um, totally ready to assemble. So for the Trapper Keeper card, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a white line there and the image, and there's a circle. I forgot to actually show you that. So I used one of the circle images punched out that I'm going to place right there. So let's put that aside with the rest of them. And we need to get that white line. I created a separate piece of paper to use as a guide to draw the white line. 
So let's see here. I have several white pens and they don't always work exactly when I want them to. But we'll see if this one will do it. So I'm just going to place my card in place. And draw with my temperamental white pen all the way around. I would like a nice thick line. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it this time around. We could be here all day. But let's just get it as nice of a run as I can. And call it a day. Now that card I just cut slightly smaller and rounded the corners so that I had the edge repeated. All right, now we can add the sentiment. And I'm gonna place the sentiment so that when the card closes, it's right here, just like the logo. And I'm going to just use a happy birthday set, a happy birthday sentiment from one of my previously released sets, um, Comfort Food Editions. Any happy birthday will do, and if you could find it in a retro or simple font, all the better. It does need to be on the small side so that it fits, or you can um, leave a break in the line, stamp it first, and then leave a break in your line. And now I'm going to emboss that. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. That's nice and embossed, and I'm going to set that aside until we assemble. And now I will focus on the optional pocket for the inside. I want to add a pocket so that I can um, put in a gift card. And there are several pockets that will probably work. I just happen to have this one on hand. So I'm going to stamp it up with rainbow with um, a rainbow hearts to kind of carry this heart detail to the inside and the rainbows too. So we'll start with red at the top. And I do have to clean in between every color. So let me get that done. And then we'll assemble the pieces. Normally, a mess up like that would cause me to start over, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to let it go. And the straight edge on the top of the heart is very helpful for lining things up. I'm gonna skip blue because the card itself is blue and I'm running out of room. So we're just going to go straight to purple. And there we go. All right, so now we have all of our pieces. We've got the pocket, which we can Flatten. Fold and flatten. We have our card base. We have our inside panel, outside panel, and our little sticker detail. So let's put it all together.
One more thing I forgot to mention is that I you can add a little Velcro to hold it all closed. And so I have a little sliver of adhesive Velcro that is very thin. And I'm going to stick it on the top of the card in the center. Peel off the backing of the other side. Stick that on so that it's in the right place. And now the card opens and closes just like the real deal. So you're like totally awesome. Happy birthday. Too good to be forgotten. You have a place to write on the inside. The handwriting is carried over and a pocket for a gift card. In this case, it's a dummy gift card, but it works for now. And there you have it. Now, since this one was fairly girly, I also prepared one with the cassette tape, since there were rainbows on there as well, with a little more boyish color scheme. So my challenge to you is to create your own rainbow card with a retro twist. Make your own rainbow trapper keeper card. Or get inspiration from another 80s rainbow product or image. I have several pinned for you, as I said earlier, but you're more than welcome to find your own. Before I go, here are a few more projects and the 80s rainbows that inspired them using products from both the kit as well as other sets in my stash. Have fun stamping and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!